Good afternoon, guys. It is Saturday. We are here on Saturday with some good updates. Um, this is now the second time I have had to record this video because my little chihuahua dogs were like, I don't even know, scratching or something for whatever the reason. I don't even know. They were scratching plastic and we could hear it over me talking so got a little annoyed with them they are now kicked out of the den um so let's try this again um we are on an upswing on bitcoin 11.6 percent over seven days we are currently at twenty one thousand six hundred and sixty dollars um, and over here we have our YouTube channel. We are still at 26 subscribers. Let's get that number up guys. Make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notifications when we post. It's been kind of a crazy week. We've been out of town um, a lot of the week. So we are starting today over again on Saturday. So crypto potato news as always. Let's start with this first one. UK jeweler sues insurer over failure to cover 7.5 million Bitcoin ransomware losses written by Mandy Williams. A British multinational jeweler Graph Diamonds Corp has filed a lawsuit against its insurer, the Traveler Companies Inc., for failing to provide identity after it paid 7.5 million in Bitcoin to ransomware hackers. According to a Bloomberg report on Wednesday, graph security system were exploited by the notorious Russian, Russian hacking gang Conti in September of 2021. The breach allowed the group to access data belonging to high-end customers, including U.S. former President Donald Trump and the royal families in Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Qatar. After the attack, Conti published 69,000 documents containing the private information of Graf's clients while threatening to release more if the billion dollar jewelry brand did not pay 15 million in Bitcoin. In November 2021, Graf paid the gang 118 BTC worth 7.5 million at the time. Half of the amount initially requested, the company said it had to pay the ransom to protect its customers. Quote, the criminal threatened targeted publication of our customers' private purchases. We were determined to take all possible steps to protect their interests So no, uh, negotiate, and so negotiated a payment which successfully neutralized that threat, end quote, a graph spokesperson said. After the incident, the company expected its insurer to cover the losses it incurred from the attack because it was an insured risk. However, Graph is yet to receive identity from Travelers. Quote, we are extremely frustrated and disappointed by Travelers' attempt to avoid settlement of this insured risk. They have left us with no option but to bring these recovery proceedings at the high court, in quote, the jeweler said. Meanwhile, Bitcoin ransomware attacks have become more common over the past few years. In May of 2021, Elliptic, a blockchain security and analysis company, revealed that the infamous cyber criminal group DarkSide received 90 million in ransomware payments. In June 2021, Crypto Potato reported that the United States Department of the world's largest meat producer, JBSSA, was forced into paying 11 million in Bitcoin to hackers to prevent further ransomware attacks on its plants. So ransomware is on the rise, you guys. Um, it's been a really pretty eventful, like, last week. Like, not just personally, but, like, across the world, I would say. Um, so there is major news about Elon is forfeiting, like, the Twitter deal, whatever. Um, which there is a um, article about it. But also the uh, Royal Bank of Canada like their banking system was completely down yesterday um and i've heard like rumors that the whole internet was down or like something was going on up in canada i'm not too sure 
Um, we were traveling yesterday, so um, I did note a couple of things, one of which was that we were going to McDonald's in Fort Tejon, if anybody know where, you know, if you are in California and you do watch this episode, you will probably know where I'm talking about. Um, but it's uh, in Fort Tejon, and I went through and I ordered McDonald's for my kids. I ordered two Happy Meals, and it says, oh, we're having technical issues on our end. And I'm like, what? So I like got out, I updated the app because I need an update, my bad, whatever. So I went back in, still didn't work. So I'm like, what the crap? So then I refresh, I exit completely all the way out, I refresh, and it says that the restaurant is closed. And I'm like, okay, restaurant is not closed, like there's people going through the drive-thru. So Xander walked in and they were like, oh, well, our system's down, we're only accepting cash. Like what? It was just, it was weird. And then like, I was trying to look at Twitter and all this stuff. And like, I had five bars of 5G. Don't know what was happening. It was not working. I was like, what the hell is going on? So then this morning I was creating a Walmart order, a drive up order for some food and stuff for the week. And it said, it kept saying, Oh, we're having technical issues on our end. We're having technical issues on our end. So I don't know, maybe it is everybody having issues, but it, just beware you guys. It's just, I don't even know anymore. I don't. And it's just scary times we live in. I'm just going to say that. So, um, let's do this written by Jay saying or Huang, I'm not too sure um, how to pronounce that. The failure of Terra Celsius and 3AC highlights the importance of self-custody DAP radar. DAP radar published the latest edition of its quarterly report focusing on how the fall of Terra Celsius and 3AC have changed the blockchain landscape as the liquidity crisis depended uh, deepened impacting major uh, CFI players. In addition, the document dives into the fierce competition among NFT marketplaces, stating that OpenSea's dominance continued to shrink in quarter two. According to the quarter two uh, industry report shared with Crypto Potato, the ongoing market crash has drastically reduced users' enthusiasm for DeFi activities. The number of daily unique active wallets interacting with blockchain apps only reached 2.11 million on average in quarter two, 11% down from quarter one, 2022, but still a record 62% growth year over year. Moreover, plummeted uh, crypto prices were even exacerbated by the Terra debacle and the liquidity issues occurring to the C5 players such as BlockFi, Celsius Voyager, and 3AC. In the wake of Terra's collapse, the crypto market cap has dropped 34%, falling below the $1 trillion mark at a level not seen since Q4 2020. The fact that troubled more firms are uh, con con concentrated on the C5 space raised a red flag on centralized, centralized entities taking custody of users' crypto assets. Keep your stuff off of exchanges. I'm going to say it over and over and over again. Keep your stuff off of exchanges. Um, as demonstrated in the collapse of Celsius and Voyager's exchanges lent out users' fund to generate high yields that are only possible through exposure to risky DeFi projects, Amid a heightened liquidity prices, users' funds were at risk when exchanges suddenly suspended withdrawals to safeguard the draining liquidity. Please get your stuff off of exchanges, guys. I'm just going to continue to say it. Um, in addition, the report highlights the security concern uh, clouding the industry with a total of $676 million being stolen in crypto assets in quarter two. The notable example came from the hack on Harmony's bridge in June, causing a loss of $100 million in ETH, Elrond, Dapp, Arda, and Mayer 
were exploited for $127 million and $113 million respectively in the same month according to DAP Radar. It's worth noting that despite the downward pressure imposed by broader crypto market by the broader crypto market nfts performed steadily in the quarter resulting partly from blue chip collections recovered losses in june in a way it proves their status as potential store of value given the circumstances of an increasing nft marketplaces competing for market shares ovency witnessed a drop in trading activities and revenue the report explained quote the decline in trading can be attributed to the drop in the market value of cryptocurrencies and rising competition in the NFT trading landscape. However, while the marketplace's volume measured in USD has fallen around 70% since May, the volume in ETH is down by 55% in the same time span, end quote. DAP radar named Solana-based Magic Eden, uh, eBay's known origin and Uniswap newly acquired NFT aggregator platform Genie as OpenSea's predominant competitors, also with relatively low gas fees and barriers to entry. Solana, as opposed to Ethereum, has grown to be a viable alternative for up and coming NFT projects. Always gonna say it, Ravencoin flag behind me. Ravencoin is a layer one solution for assets and no smart contract involved. Um, let's see. Silver lining crypto scams have rec uh, receded alongside Bitcoin's price. Andrew Thorvalas, Kim Grayer, Director of Research at Chain China Chain chain analysis is what it's supposed to be but I can't I can't say it said there's been a pullback in funds received by cryptocurrency scam address addresses during the bear market other forms of financial crime in the digital asset world such as ransomware do not reflect the same trend as uh, Grayer explained to Yahoo Finance on Thursday scamming is the largest subset of criminal activity on the blockchain um, the data shows that scams were the biggest source of revenue for criminals in 2021, netting $7.7 .7 billion in 2021 alone. Though it's still a pack leader in 2022, the director noted their prevalence tends to expand and shrink alongside the broader crypto market. Thus, with Bitcoin's price caught in a... Uh, consistent downtrend across the year, scams have been less successful in turn. Uh, Grayer believes the correlation is only natural. Um, a scam is someone willing to, uh, willing parting with their funds in hopes of seeking a higher return. Quote, you can compare that to something like ransomware, where there's not really a market basis for the amount of ransomware attacks there are. End quote. She added, it's really just continually happening at the same time. End quote. The scamming ecosystem is also evolving with every market cycle. Law enforcement is learning to proactively crack down on related schemes. That said, scammers' methods are also becoming more sophisticated with each crypto winter. Uh, cryptocurrency romance scams and business government imposters netted over 300 million from victims spanning from January 2021 to March of 2022. At present, investment scams are still the most common and profitable in the industry. Uh, Grayer advised investors to watch out for projects with anonymous founders promising unrealistic returns when betting for these schemes. In late October, an anonymous party pretending to be affiliated with the hit Netflix series Squid Games pumped the Squid Game token after charting uh, astronomical gains. Post-launch, investors were eventually rug-pulled while the founders vanished with barely a word. And this is true because I saw it happen live on YouTube. Go in, look it up happens live some guy was doing like ta or something and looking and it literally it happened live guys so go in check it out pretty interesting um 
Ransomware is a software used to block a victim's computer access or threaten to publish their personal data until they forfeit a sum of money. Cryptocurrency is exceedingly popular as a payment method in such schemes as it allows uh, extortionists to stay anonymous and keep their transactions irreversible. Uh, ransomware netted over $602 million for scammers in 2021. According to official numbers from Chain Analysis, in February the actual figure is expected to be higher. In August, political comedy host John Oliver took aim at the privacy coin Monero for implicitly supporting ransomware attacks through its marketing. There's a pretty clear subtext to what they're selling there, he said, in response to one of its advertisements. While crypto crime weighs heavy on the minds of regulators and pundits, some stats suggest it's not worthy of the coverage it receives. As the U.S. Treasury Department admits, fiat money is still far greater than that of Bitcoin for money laundering. Furthermore, a chain analysis report in February showed that the share of illicit transactions in crypto is trending far lower each year. Um, do, do, do. Solana Labs accused of selling unregistered securities in new lawsuit. Um, this is pretty interesting. I will be doing a side video about Sol. Um, Marathon Digital sold no BTC during my crash. Not surprised. And let's get to the biggest news going on around today is Elon Musk terminates deal to buy Twitter. Uh, written by Andrew Thoravalas. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has backed out of his deal to purchase Twitter for $44 million. Not surprised that this happened, guys. I really am not. Like, I really wish he would have gone through with it, but I don't know. I just... Just no comment. I have no comment because I could go on a rampage about it and... I don't want to be here for like two and a half hours just ranting about Elon, but I just find it interesting um, because several other people called it. I was really hopeful that he wasn't going to pull it, but I'm not surprised. It says in a filing Friday on Friday, the CEO stated that Twitter hadn't uh, complied with its contractual obligations to him as detailed in the merger agreement on April 26th. One such requirement was that Twitter provide him with all information he required for business purposes related to the transaction. Specifically, he sought information related to the prevalence of spam bots and accounts throughout the social media platform, which is interesting. I stated it in another video. Twitter has bots. They have always had bots. Bots have always been around. I probably have... I don't know, 25, 26, 27 bot accounts that follow me. So I am really, really not surprised at this. Um, but it's like, I just, I don't understand. Um, Musk put the deal on hold in May after Twitter released that an estimate 5% of the platform accounts were fake. Again, I think that number is a lot higher, um, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Twitter deal temporarily on hold, pending details supporting a calculation that uh, spam fake accounts were indeed to represent less than 5% of users, he said. The letter details how Musk had requested specific pieces of information from the platform multiple times, but was never given a satisfactory answer to clarify the prevalence of spam accounts. Information the platform did provide has come with strings attached, use limitations, or other artificial formatting features, which has rendered some of the information minimally useful to, Ma to Mr. Musk and his advisors, according to the filing. The termination uh, may not go over smoothly, However, the original merger agreement included a provision allowing Twitter to force the billionaire to complete the deal. We'll see what happens. Uh, the $44 billion deal to purchase Twitter was originally backed by Binance CEO uh, Shana Peng Zhao, uh, but only so long as he went through with it. 
Um, leave a comment below if you think that they're going to force him to go through with it or if they're not going to force him to go through with it. I'm interested to see what you guys think as viewers if he is going to go through with it or not. Um, so with that, guys, um, do, 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 um, nothing much here really. Um, besides that, and that's kind of like the newest news as of Saturday. Um, the last one was written yesterday because it was a late breaking story. Um, so with that, I'm going to call it the end of this episode. We will be doing a couple of other shorter episodes today on a project about, um, that is on Ravencoin and also about Solana and what is going on over there. Um, so if you like this video, please like, uh, us and hit that notification bell and please subscribe. We're trying to hit a hundred subscribers. Um, hopefully by the end of the year, that's what we're hoping for. If it's earlier, great. Then we can hit our next goal, which is 150 and just kind of go from there. So please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. It is being updated as we speak. Um, amdailycrypto.com. Um, we have a merchandise store over there and also AM Daily Crypto on Twitter. And you can always catch my personal Twitter at CryptoLissa at XanderCoinMiner. And of course, links will be in the description below, guys. And have a great weekend.